I'm out here at Hobcaw Barony in Georgetown collecting Spartina seeds. This is the gold. Um, so that our kids can go back to the classroom and plant these. And then we do a marsh restoration day. By becoming intimately involved in these plants, they end up getting to see firsthand that they're making a difference in this world. And I think at the end of the day, any educator, it's really what our goal is, is to hope that, you know, our kids leave our classrooms better people, making our planet a better place to live. From Seeds to Shoreline is the state's first and only salt marsh restoration program for students. And what the program is designed to do is to really connect students with the salt marsh ecosystem. We found that a lot of students living along the coastline have seen the marsh, but really had not had a lot of engagement with it. And we feel very strongly that by getting students and teachers out physically into this resource and really turning them on to how important this ecosystem is that we are instilling a stewardship ethic with them. We want them to be able to advocate for the marsh based on their connection to it and understanding the importance of the services it provides. Y'all are gonna have lots of chances to explore the animals that live in the intertidal zone. We're gonna be using seine nets and dip nets to help you explore the animals that live in the water. How many of y'all like to eat seafood? Anybody like seafood? What kind of seafood do you like? Shrimp. shrimp. Where do shrimp come from? Hint, hint, there's one right there. The salt marsh, yeah. Turns out most of what you've been eating as seafood most of your life is actually salt marsh food. There's some fiddler crab holes, even if you don't see them, there are fiddler crabs in here. What about plants? Do you see a lot of different types of plants? What kind of plant do you see here? Spartina, the same stuff that you guys just planted. We focus on Spartina because without this plant, we would not have the salt marsh ecosystem. Look at the grass, and if you look carefully, you can see the little crystals yep. of salt. It almost looks fuzzy, like peach fuzz. Yep. And that is the salt that's coming out of the plants, which is pretty cool. It's really special to see teachers working me out of a job. They know the material so well. They are absolutely becoming local experts in their school on salt marshes. And so it's really empowering because, you know, the more passionate they are, the more confident they are with the information, that is going to be directly passed down to their students. Oh, wait, look, you can see the salt on my fingers. One of the really exciting, unexpected aspects of this program is that we started off really wanting to be focused on stewardship and cultivating the next generation of stewards. What we found, though, is that these areas where we are planting the Spartina grass that the schools are growing, they are being restored. We have a model that works. Since the program began in 2011, we have worked with 134 schools, 185 teachers, and over 12,000 students. We're excited to explore new locations and kind of broaden that footprint. I really enjoy science, and these field trips are really awesome, not just because I get to skip school, because I love this. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's just like be with the SIF nets, help plant. It, I love this so much. I had a field experience when I was very young. I was in elementary school, and that is what turned me on to marine science. And it was an experience like this. Even if they just walk away liking and appreciating it, that's fine. They may not have a career in it. Just having this positive experience is, is my goal and leaving an impact on, on that level. 90% of the things we eat 
seafood wise or salt oh, no, 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 no. So it's not seafood, it's salt food. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And also oh, that it glows spaces of water get really warm. Yes. Yeah. Well over in the ocean it was really cold. Uh, so we can help <laughs> That's a, that's a really happy plant. Yeah, sometimes it's just there. It's magical how you eat it.